So here we are at the cemetery, and you can see what I mean. How awesome this would be to uh, film like a horror movie in here or something. I'm in the cemetery right now, and it's very rare you ever see trees in cemeteries, but check it out. Where are you, Shelly? What? You're hiding on me. <laughs> You're hiding on me. See how sweet this is? There's little like tombstones and shit scattered among this like mess of trees and cool, eh? I've never been in here before because I don't pull over when I'm working, but for the next time I'm up here, like. And these aren't very recent. This guy here is 1898. Died 1830? Look at this guy here. He died at the age of 73 in 19, or no, age of 73 in 1882. Mr. Samuel Kirkpatrick. This one was six years and five months old. 1880. What's that say? Six years and five months. That's how old that child oh, was. Oh, no, it was a kid. What's yeah. that say on there? Mar Martha? That's all it says is just her first Martha name. Died. Martha June died. June 14th, 1880. Age six years and five months. Wow. This one's so old, it's got nothing, it's got nothing on it. But check that out. There's gravestones just scattered everywhere. Like this, like the for, like this forgotten cemetery. They're laying over. Sorry. Where? Oh, this is a team. Tweety. Yep, Tweety. John Tweety died 56 years and six months. I can't even read it. His wife Sarah is also here. Ni eight, uh, 1933. 1942. Buried in 1942? Yes. There's a couple of really nice ones in here. Sorry, say that again. Delilah. Wife of Best. 1883. William, yeah. It w. fell M. over, Best. so you're probably... Standing on her. It's weird. Like, here's another one. A, just a, just a brick. Grown. That's Mother. So she, the Mother is buried here. Here. This is the Mother. And the Father should be next to her. But he doesn't have a stone. See, and then down the, down the street north of here, a couple of miles, there's a really nice, big, really well-maintained graveyard. And I think this is the one, because the church, we parked in the church parking lot across the street, walked across the street to see this cemetery. I think the church just neglected this one and then migrated down the road so they had more lot. I thought they had to keep them. Maybe this is private property. Who's this guy? Burl, William Burl, 1802 to 1875, and his wife. That one back there says Green on it. Mr. Green, or Mrs. Green. Hey, some of them are newer, they're like a marble. These ones, this one's falling apart, they've got it put together with a green. Oh yeah, they had like a brace on it. Yeah. Well, you can't even read that one. That's so friggin' old that... Woodcock. In memory of somebody. Wife of David. Over here? Yeah, 1922, died at 77 years old. And I'm standing on her. I don't even know where these are supposed to... You don't even know where they're buried. Half of them, half of them have fallen down. Well, right there where those little tiny stones are? Yeah. Those are bodies. 
That's where they should be buried, is right where those markers are. The big stone keeps tells you the family. And right. The little individual markers will tell you mother, brother, son, daughter. There's a couple more buried up here in the trees. See these little markers here should have See, they're old, but this is this is a marker for Somebody's there. somebody. There's another one there. See these bigger ones, you can actually read the date. That one's 1928 or 1920, yeah, 1928. But yeah, so that is the extremely cool cemetery I wanted to show you guys. Buried in the woods that was neglected. And I uh, figured today was a good day to capture it because we got some good, some good sun and Highway 62, right at the corner of Springbrook Road. What was the name of the cemetery? White Lake? So there you go guys. I figured I'd take you through here just to show you how gnarly this little cool little spot this was. White Lake, you said? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. There's your little little tour of White Lake Cemetery right at the corner of Springbrook Road and Highway 62 in southeastern Ontario. Yeah. This one's pretty. And um, hmm, it's a shame that this place is in such disarray, but then again, gives it character. Mm -hmm.